Tomorrow marks one year since Hamas's attack on Israel. Demonstrations are being held around the world, including right here in South Florida tonight. The message is one of hope for the end to the deadly war. Tea light candles sit atop pictures of the hundreds of lives lost and those held hostage from the October 7th attack on Israel by Hamas. Five of them are members of Ziv Levi's family. They all found the uh, shot. He says his sister, her husband, and their three children were found dead inside their safe room with the arms of the husband around his family attempting to shield them in their final moments. You can't really heal uh, when you lose an entire family. Many people feel that way. 1,200 Israelis were killed, at least 251 others were taken hostage. This attack, the deadliest since the Holocaust. What happened on October 7th was a terrible tragedy that happened not just to Israelis, but to Jews around the world. And if it had ended then, that would have been one thing. But we've continued to be victims of hate and terror. That's why rooms were filled like this across South Florida. From the Jewish Federation of Broward County's Remembrance to this one at Club 305 in Miami-Dade, the goal is to not only honor those whose lives have been forever changed, but continue the fight to end the war. Because the war that they're fighting is not just for the people in Israel, it's for all of humanity, because what the Hamas and the Hezbollah and Iran, what they're trying to do is not only wipe out the Jewish nation, but to wipe out the West. As the war has widened, the relationship between the United States and Israel has become strained. A year of understanding the importance of coming together. We have to make sure that we bring all of the hostages home, that we fight relentlessly to end the terrorist threat that is on Israel's doorstep, and that we can eventually make sure that we can move forward in peace. Just this weekend, Israel has launched airstrikes targeting Hezbollah and Hamas as thousands in Lebanon flee towards safety. I'm hoping that both sides, that Harris and Trump both understand the importance of the United States supporting Israel and providing all of the means necessary for Israel to defend itself. For people like Levi, it's the resilience of his country that gives him strength to push forward. There will always be somebody that wants to destroy us and wants to vanish us. Uh, but we are strong. Israel retaliated against the attacks by launching strikes on the Gaza Strip, killing more than 40,000 Palestinians, according to Gaza's health ministry. But there are several more remembrance events scheduled to happen tomorrow as a South Florida Jewish community remembers the attacks that happened one year ago. Former President Trump will be in town tomorrow at his resort in Doral, participating in an October 7th remembrance event. Trump is scheduled to deliver remarks there around 6. In Miami Beach, Temple Beth Shalom is hosting hosting a From Morning to Hope event. And in North Miami Beach, they're holding a before and after Day of Remembrance event at the Julius Littman Theater. That's happening tomorrow night at 7. And we will have full coverage on the one-year mark of the October 7th attacks tomorrow right here on CBS News Miami.